In this video, we'll convert moles of C6H12O6 to grams. That's moles of glucose to grams. So this is a typical problem you'll see for converting from moles to grams. We'll use this mole map here to kind of guide our work. So we can see we have 20 moles of this C6H12O6 and we want grams. So we're going from moles to grams. We have our moles here. If we're going from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. So moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. So we need to find the molar mass for C6H12O6. Let's do that. If we look on the periodic table, we see carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. But we have six carbon, so we're gonna multiply that times six plus hydrogen, that's 1.01 .01 grams per mole. We have 12 hydrogens, plus oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole, and we have six oxygen atoms. So if we multiply these together and add them up, we get our molar mass to be 180.6, and that's going to be grams per mole. So that's the molar mass. Now we have the molar mass. We just multiply the number of moles we're given by the molar mass, and we'll get grams. Let's do that. We're given 20.00 moles of C6H12O6. We're going to multiply that by the molar mass. That's our conversion factor, 180.6 grams per mole. So when we do this, we multiply the top, divide by the bottom. Moles is going to cancel out. So we'll take 20.00 times 180.6 grams. We'll end up with 3,612.00, and because the moles have canceled out, our units are grams. Sometimes you'll be asked to use conversion factors in solving problems like this. Really, this is your conversion factor, the molar mass. So often they'll have you draw something like this here, and your conversion factor is there are 180.6 grams in one mole of our glucose here. So you multiply the top and divide by the bottom, moles cancels out, and you get the same answer. So that's how you convert from moles of C6H12O6 to grams. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.